Greetings from Omega Cube Technologies. Today, we will explain how a seamless interaction between nesting and ERP systems, lead to continuous flow of information, faster production, and increased profitability for manufacturers. So what challenges do manufacturers face today? Volatile global economy owing to various political and competitive scenarios, have forced manufacturers to look for agile solutions that increase their productivity, and bring down production costs. Open trade policies between developing and developed nations have led to increased industry competition, leading manufacturers to concentrate on increasing material cost savings and profitability. Moreover, market dynamics have changed, and customers are more aware of what they want, and what will be usable in their day-to-day -day lives, thus ensuring that manufacturers adopt advanced technology for more production visibility and at the same time, deliver quality products at a reasonable cost. So how do manufacturers overcome these challenges? Through technology. Manufacturers primarily focus on utilizing materials to the maximum, and reduce as much scrap as possible. This can be achieved through implementation of efficient nesting and CAD technology. They also aim for continuous visibility to shop floor operations, and ensure higher machine utilization, increased yield per machine, and reduced downtime. This can be achieved by integrating machine monitoring technology with manufacturing execution system. Implementing these technologies automatically reduces overhead costs such as labor, raw materials, and increases production and profitability. Let us take a look at how nesting technology integrated with an ERP improves manufacturing execution. So what is nesting? Nesting is a manufacturing process where cutting patterns are efficiently laid out on a nesting software, ensuring maximum material utilization and minimum raw material wastage. The cutting pattern is sent to a laser or plasma machine to carry out the part cutting process on flat metal sheets, for speedy and precision cutting. There are various steps that complete a nesting process. For each manufacturing order that is entered into the ERP and require parts cutting, the respective parts to be manufactured are designed using CAD software based on required specifications. The design files are then transferred to the nesting software in order to create the nesting layout. The nesting file is then used to write the program for each parts to be manufactured. The program is then sent to the laser or plasma machine via an NC code file. The machine then proceeds to cut those parts on a flat metal sheet. Once the cutting operation is complete, the machine sends amount of materials consumed and scrap generated data to the ERP. Based on this, the ERP updates the inventory levels along with machine and personnel login logout time, order status, and part information in the work order. There are various methods where the ERP, nesting, and laser machine systems communicate with each other. Let us take a look at each of them. In the manual integration between ERP and nesting software, the personnel enters work order details such as order number, number of parts to be cut, part numbers, order due date, material details into the nesting software. The personnel decides what work order needs to go first based on the order due dates. He can club multiple orders in a single nest based on the nest availability and priority of multiple orders. Post cutting he updates the parts cut information, materials consumed, order completion status, and scrap quantity details into the ERP. The manual process takes up immense amount of time and is prone to human errors leading to material wastage, and subsequent delay in production. Apart from the manual integration, there is a file transfer process where the personnel exports a work order XML file from the ERP to the nesting software. The XML file contains all the relevant details required for the nesting software to carry out the nesting activity. The nesting software reads the file and performs the activity taking into account, the order priority based on due date. Post cutting, the nesting software updates the XML file with part cut details that are imported into the ERP for further updates. This is a much better system compared to the manual process as information flow is faster and there are no scope for human error. Also, the information is accurate, 
leading to fewer changes and ensures smooth production. However, the export-import of files takes some time as they would have to be done manually, and is vulnerable to a certain percentage of human error, file corruption, and hard drive issues. Now let us take a look at the complete integration between ERP and nesting software. Here, the nesting software is completely integrated with ERP for a more seamless cutting operation. The nesting software checks for new orders entered into the ERP, and which require part cutting. The ERP sends part requirements, order details, and available material inventory to the nesting software. Based on the order due date, the software prioritizes each order or combines multiple hot orders in a single nesting layout. The nesting software automatically modifies the nesting layout for optimum material utilization and carries out the cutting process. Post-cutting, the nesting software updates the ERP with parts nested, materials consumed, order status etc. Based on this, the ERP reduces the inventory levels, and updates the work order with nesting details, parts cut information, material costs, and other relevant details. The complete integration eliminates manual and redundant tasks, and human errors from the workflow process. Parts are cut faster, information flow is quick, and there's more visibility to shop floor operations, leading to quick decision making, faster production, speedy response to machine breakdowns, and cost savings due to material and personnel utilization. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Also, you can visit our blog section at omegacube.com slash blog to read about latest technological innovations in the field of manufacturing. Stay tuned.